Hey guys, it's Summing Rush. Today I'm going to be showing you how I like to play on steps. So this guide is going to be useful for pretty much any vehicle with a turret. I don't really know how to play non-turreted vehicles because I just suck in them, but any vehicle with a turret, this, this type of guide should apply to. My hope is to be able to show you positions that I like to use and that are actually effective on this map. Uh, and hopefully give you some insight on how to play this game, you know, on this map. So, the steps, of course, standard game. We're just going to assume that, I mean, the positions are relevant in standard and encounter. What I like to do on this map when I'm in the southern spawn is I pretty much always play the 890, even if I'm in a heavy. So, the way that you go about winning the 890 on this map generally is by winning this high ground. So, on this map, there's a lot, I don't know, like a lot of people like to go down here. That doesn't work well very that doesn't work because what you're doing is you're putting below yourself below the enemy winning this ridge uh is extremely important because what happens is if you let enemies get up to here and you have teammates down here you know and, and they're on this corner they just shoot down into your teammates so what i like to do to facilitate the winning of the upper shelf on this map is i like to sit here right off the bat and that gives you shots of people who cross it also kind of gives you an idea of who you're fighting and it gives you an idea of who you have with you. So what I do is I'll just rush to this location right here, right from my cap or whatever, and I'll sit here maybe for, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds or so, and I'll take one or two shots into whoever's crossing in the open. That lets me figure out who, like, you want to know who, which teammates you have with you and which enemies you're fighting. So that's, I'll sit there in turreted tanks. Now, how you play the rest is going to be depending on how your team is. Like if you're at a disadvantage, where you always, what I like to do is I run away to K5. I'll show that in a bit here. But let's pretend you've kind of let the game progress. Your team is winning. They're starting to push up. So generally what I like to do is I like to wait for my teammates to make the first move because they're teammates. You can't communicate with them. So, uh, you know, unless you really have to, I don't like to be the one leading the charge because... You know, what if you lead the charge, your teammates are probably just going to sit there and watch you die. So what I do is I let them push, my teammates push up to here. Once that happens, the next step is to move forwards into the other ridge. Now, the way I did that was around like this as opposed to going right over the ridge. That was on purpose. And I like to come right up to here and basically fight any, any mediums or whoever who sit in this ridge. This is a very common position for mediums to take. And then from this location, you also get to shoot at TDs and whatnot who are back here. And all the while, you're trying to win this upper shelf because once that's done, you'll be able to come up to B8 or so and then flank anyone who's on the lower area. So you shoot at people and so on and so forth. You can always pop around to this corner, which works because you kind of get hauled down when you do this, something like this, right? So if you poke here, you're hauled down. If you poke here... Again, you're mostly held down. And then you can kind of just rock around this corner, move forwards, and kill anyone who's in this bull right here. Note how far you have to drive out to kill anyone who's here. It's easier to kill someone who's uh, playing this ridge, basically where my mouse is circling, from this area because you'll get better shots as opposed to driving all the way around. So you, you shoot at these guys and you shoot at these guys. Once that's done, the next step is to push up to this ridge. You'll notice it's it's pretty pretty basic. And I like to get up to here and I'll shoot it in anyone down in this bowl. So the way I do that, most people will make the mistake of doing this, basically. This is what they'll do. They'll come up to like here, and they'll try to shoot people who are over here, and it's like their gun depression won't really allow that. They open themselves up to shots to anyone who's over there. What I'll do is I'll just come up right to this ridge, and it's a bit counterintuitive because it actually puts you closer to the enemy, but you'll notice it's like if I sit here, I'm going to be able to put shots into way more people who are generally on this corner and i'm also going to be safer from these guys if they want to shoot at me they have to come all the way over the ridge and you know you just put a shot into their lower plate as they do that so that's that's pretty much winning this this side of the map i really don't like playing the lower ground because what happens is uh, basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to teach you how to defend now from the north spawn because that's i'll show you the problem it's very easy to defend from right up here if you're on the north spawn all you do is you sit on this corner and if people are coming through the low shelf, you just shoot at them. And then likewise, that I mean, you're hauled down, they're below you, you just farm them for days. And then you've got teammates over here who will probably be taking the hits. And so that's, that's the, probably one of the easiest plays to make if you're defending from the north. The reason you want to win the upper ground from the south, or at least hold it, is so that, like I said, enemies don't get up to here. And they'll, you know, end up doing something like this to shoot at your teammates. They'll come all the way up here and start shooting at them. And they can just kind of poke or whatever to shoot at uh, your teammates who are playing this corner. And then if you die, let's pretend you you die while you're here and they can just kind of sit here and shoot at them, right? So if there's no tanks here and you have teammates here, anyone who's in this location is gonna die because the upper shelf is controlled and 
you know, they'll get surrounded. So that's kind of how that works. I'll draw it on a map tactic and strat sketch and put it on the screen. Uh, and, you know, you can download that or whatever if you'd like. So that's the 9-0 from the south spot. I'm going to deal with it from the north. It's more or less the same. I like to be very... This map is very um, reciprocal, I guess. I don't know how to say it in English. Mirrored might be a good word. Um, because the plays you make are very, very similar. So once again, on this side of the map, what, what I like to do is I like to immediately come to a position like this. Look to see who's where and maybe get some opening shots. That seems to be the easiest way to safely get intel and damage. And then once that happens... Again, you need to control the upper shelf because you don't really want enemies getting up to where I am. So what I like to do, if it's safe, if my teammates are starting to push through, again, you let them make the lead on the lower shelf. If they're like pushing up to here, then it's generally safe for you to get to this area. And then once you're here, you just kind of play hell down and shoot at people who, who let you shoot at them. And then, you know, if your team is being hyper aggressive and you've, you know, shot at anyone who's here, anyone who's on this rock and so on and so forth, you can then move around now for whatever reason i always like to go over like this i think it's because these guys have to poke really wide and if you have campers back here you you can generally get safe so what i like to do is i like to run over like this you do have to be mindful of tds back back here um and then obviously on the other side not so much because as you see i don't really have shots so from the north spawn if you're going to push like i am right now you have to watch out for some campers back here um you would obviously want to clear, clear out this rock, make sure there's no one on it, and then just rush straight to this location. So this is a situation that's very common. If you decide to push up to where I am, E9 right now, and someone is on this rock, the mistake that a lot of people will make is they will sit, I don't know, something like here and just shoot. If there's, let's pretend there's an enemy on this rock right here. What a lot of people will do is they will just choose to fight the enemy in the open like this. And they'll just kind of sit here and trade shots with the guy. That's a mistake, right? Because what that does is if you stop right here, everyone can poke on this corner. They'll be held down. Everyone can poke here. They'll be held down. So basically, you, and there's also sometimes tanks here. They'll be held down. And maybe, a, a, you know, some bad player in a heavy drives over here. So currently, there's like five angles that you could kind of expect to get shot at from. By pushing up you really close off a lot of these angles. So here it's like you're committing to fighting whoever's on this rock. He's going to shoot at you. He's just going to pen you all the time. But what it does is it means that no one here can shoot at you, you know, because they have to come all the way. Can't you see? Kind of safe right here by this ridge. Anyone who wants to shoot at you has to drive all the way over this to shoot at you. Anyone who wants to shoot at you around this corner has to drive all the way around. The only two angles you have to deal with are someone here and he's just going to be sitting in the open, not able to do anything. And then maybe someone will poke up here. And if he doesn't really have gun depression, you can just track him and do stuff like that. So you, if you decide to push this, get to here. Don't stop randomly. Um, and then that's that's pretty much it. Like I said, you can kind of play this to try to get shots on people who are not hugging cover. And I always like to push around like this. You do have to watch for TDs who will sit back here. It's very common. Um, but generally, you'll fight people on this angle and this angle and so the way you do this is you just make sure there's no one here sometimes there's cds up here but generally they'll have moved by this point then you check this then you check this and then once this is all cleared out you just kind of sit here and, and you know kill any of the enemy heavies who are here and of course you'll probably have teammates right about in this area and they'll be pushing around as well so it kind of works out perfectly so that's how you win the uh, western side of the map. Now let's pretend you're on the south spawn, so the green spawn in this situation. The best way to reset the cap, like let's pretend you've won the 9-0 and you've won it enough so that you don't have to worry about tanks like enemies sitting at A7 driving all the way down and, deal and shooting at you while you're trying to reset. So you've killed everyone on the 9-0. What I like to do is I like to just sit at J0. This is an amazing position to reset and defend the base from. So what I'll do is I'll just sit something like this and you'll see this ridge gives you perfect cover. This is a very common position. It doesn't work out very well, and be, and I can show you why. But basically, what I like to do is I'll just sit here, and this ridge will make you hull down, and you can put shots into any enemies who have won the 1-2 line and are driving onto your cap. You know, it's very easy, because they have to cross an open field. And if they're capping out, it's like they're sitting still in the middle of an open field. So if they're on cap, that's like your wet dream. That's perfect. Now, the reason this position doesn't work out, it's very common, but it, the reason it doesn't work out is because if you want to shoot at someone, Look what you have to do. You have to put your entire tank... Look, I still don't have the gun depression. So for me to get shots, like, let me do this intelligently so I'm not being obnoxiously biased here. The way I would try to do it is like this. Something like this to get shots on people. But it's like, that's a lot of tank to shoot at. So this position doesn't work, even if you're in gun depression medium, simply because this slope is so steep that you, you, 
even a patent won't be successful in a position like that. Okay, now let's pretend you're resetting the cap. You've won the 890 from the northern spawn. Like, let's pretend I was the red team here and I've got an enemy dicker max on cap. The way I would go about resetting is you've got a lot more options actually when you're on this side. The easiest way to reset, in my opinion, is generally somewhere like here. Now, the problem with this location is there's very little to run away from. So, if it's like an E100 or a mouse or something and they're like a one or a two shot on cap, by all means, that's a great place to reset from. Generally though, that's not going to be what's going to happen. So what I like to do, if I've won the 890, because also if someone sits up here and you're trying to reset from here, they can shoot at you. What I like to do is I'd like to come over to this location right here. Now it's not perfect, of course, but what you can see is that if I sit here, I will have shots on you know this guy and I will be hauled down. So you could get resets very easily like this. And then, you know, you're just kind of clear the angles as they appeared and try to get resets from this location and for most of the time you're going to be held down and the beauty about a position like this is if you get rushed so let's pretend they've got an e100 or someone he's or something he's full hp and you're one shot and he decides to push into you it's very easy just to run away so you just do this you know and in this case i would recommend going low because that literally would put cover between you and whoever's yoloing you and then that kind of lets you escape and it's you know it's very similar on the other side of the map but generally this position that i showed back here is actually stronger than the position up here so it's better to you know the the other team has an advantage the green team on the map currently has an advantage when resetting the base but how i showed you is generally how i like to do it because you do have the option to leave that fight uh if you're if you're trying to reset from a6 now a very common mistake on this map, and this happens from both sides. A lot of people, you can also, it seems, reset from here. Could you? Yeah, so you could get hauled down and do it. It would be the reciprocal element to the other side. So if I was trying to reset the green cap right here, I could go here and get hauled down. Now, the mistake that a lot of people make is they will try to do... The, it's the same problem over here. If you're trying to reset from these rocks, it's not really going to work well. I don't actually know how good these bushes are. I just... I've tried it, it doesn't work well, but what happens is when you poke, you're going to show your whole tank to someone. So basically anyone who's on the cap, if you're playing this, they'll have your entire tank to shoot at. Likewise, if you're playing this, it's going to be relatively similar. You know, if you poke on someone on cap, if they're a tall tank, they're going to shoot at your hull right here. And that's not, and you know, if you don't have gun depression, it's not going to work. So all these positions here aren't very good for resetting. It's very similar on the other side. You have to show your whole tank to reset. And so I never try to do that. Now, let's pretend you're in a situation where we're on the south team, so the green team, and you've lost the 890, so you've decided to run away. The, the easiest place to run away and defend from, like, you, you, you know, you've decided you're not going to win the 890, you've fallen back, there's enemies pushing through, is going to be somewhere like this. So what I do is I like to sit here, and if because I'm a Russian medium player, what I'll do is I'll just sit like this, and this gives me gun depression. So I've got this bush, I'm not exactly held down, but basically they won't see me, and because of the way I've tilted my tank right here, you know, I can shoot all the way down. So what I'll do is I'll just poke, and then I'll shoot at heavies who are driving through the open. Generally, they're going to be like there. Sometimes they'll show themselves here, and then you have to be a bit more careful, because again, you have to show your whole tank to shoot at them. But basically, this location lets you shoot at people as they drive into your base, and if you need to reset, you know, you can do that from here as well. So I really like this K4, K5 position for dealing with that. Um, that's pretty much the defending the base if you've lost the eastern side from the south. Okay, so the next thing that I would like to talk about is defending from the north spawn, so let's pretend you're the red team, and you've got an enemy on cap, or, you know, there's enemies driving towards your cap. A position that I like to take is right here. So what you can see is if you take this position, you're going to be mostly hull down, like pretty much all hull down. So if someone's on cap, you know, you just kind of shoot at them as minimally as possible, so you expose as small of yourself as possible. So if I was resetting the sticker max here, I would shoot at him here, and, you know, you just kind of work on the reset, and if he's not here, you know, you just drive forwards until you find him and uh, you know try to get the reset that way now the problem with this location is it's absolutely fantastic for resetting but what happens if the enemy and this is very common gets to like a4 and controls this side of the tracks so it's that's really bad actually so you can't use the position i just showed you if that happens let's pretend there there is someone there though the way i'll try to deal with that is because there's going to be someone on this track is i try to come up to somewhere like here to try to find resets he'll be proxy spotting you and all that but if you've got eyes on the cap it works perfectly because now what happens if the enemy wants to shoot at you they have to drive all the way over the tracks to shoot at you and hopefully you've got teammates to support you now let's pretend you don't get resets right there you can always drive to here 
try again and then if you're in a Russian medium or whatever you just kind of tilt your tank on this you see I'm giving myself gun depression you tilt your tank to try to get resets like so this bush is keeping the dicker max safe but you know this this is how I would go about trying to defend the base it's like there's three good positions on this side that work really well and you don't have to commit to just staying on the tracks to do that now let's pretend you do have the tracks and you want to defend from the tracks this position works really well I can just show you how to use that quickly and then we'll call it so what I'll do in this position is it's great. The problem with this position is when enemies get to D3. So what I've found is that if you can sit here, you'll have uh, reasonable resets. Obviously, you can see this guy's got shots in me. So the way you deal with that is like you drive like this, right? To try to put shots. You can always shoot down these things or whatever if you don't have good enough shots. And this way you can swat the cap and, you know, maybe your teammates can support you or whatever. The problem is if enemies get up to these rocks right here, because then they'll have shots in you. And if you're in a larger tank than the T100, they'll be able to hit you reasonably certainly. So you have to keep that in mind. Also, Artie will click you very commonly right here. So if that starts happening, you can always try getting to this, right? And this is going to buy you some time. But again, it's not perfect. If they get to here, then they'll start having shots in you. But at that point, you've probably already lost the game. So um, this is how I use this position. It's very strong. You can get resets. You can very easily get held down. If you have gun depression problems, just use this, right? And that, that'll give you shots on people better. It'll give you the impression that you need. And uh, you can definitely carry from this location. It's like you just get clicked a lot if you're there. Uh, and anyone who takes D3 will like have really easy shots in you and you can't really do much about it. So, so yeah, that's my guide to steps. We're going to look at some couple other maps. The reason that I left out the middle and the 1-2 line is because in my opinion, they're useless. So what happens when you're pushing the 1-2 line, basically... You, you, your only option is to push into a crosser. So I can just demonstrate. So when you're pushing into steps, if you're doing it from the enemy's team, basically what happens is tanks will have to come up to this ridge here. But then what happens is enemies sit where I'm sitting and right here. And so if you're... <laughs> I'm going to switch teams now, so I'm going to be pushing in. If you're sitting right here and you're trying to push into people, all, their, all a tank has to do is sit on this corner. And he just doesn't have to die. He just has to AFK and just be there. Because what happens is the second you try to push, if there's a guy here, it's like you're pushing into a crossroad. There's going to be a tank in front of you and a tank here or on this rock. So it's very hard to dig out the two line. I only like to do it in a platoon because then you can squirt kind of YOLO people and just dig people out very easily and use your hit points, you know, with teamwork. But it doesn't really work so well on this side. I prefer the 890 if you're playing solo. Um, and of course, armor is really helpful on a side like this. Likewise, it's the same thing. So if you're going to push into this or whatever, uh, generally the easiest way to push this side is to YOLO right here and just kind of sit here for a bit because then you've got support. If the enemies want to shoot at you, they have to come all around these corners. But, you know, sometimes you don't have very good support and that sucks. And then when the problem is when you push into this, it's like let's pretend you shoot at someone here. So you kill, you just shoot at him. So he falls back. Well, what happens if there's a tank here and a tank here? For you to push through, so I'm pretending there's a tank on this rock. There could be a tank on this rock, and there could also be a tank. There's This is an obvious crossfire. It doesn't work out well. I don't like pushing into this side. Um, and that's that's basically my opinion on this map. So I hope this vid was helpful. Uh, Mid-road sucks. Don't go there. If you want to see more, uh, be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button.